Pro-life students censored and banned in the nation's capital. Campus diversity strikes again. <laughs> students for life at the University of Ottawa are like any other sanctioned campus group, or I guess they used to be. They say they exist on campus and have at the University of Ottawa for at least the last 10 years to promote the dignity of human life from conception to natural birth. They meet to talk about an issue that they're all very passionate about, and they try to educate other people with facts. They behave. They follow all the rules. Actually, they've never been accused of not following the rules. And again, they've been around for at least 10 years. They sometimes trigger the left on campus with chalk messages, with facts about abortion, like this one here that says, 90% of children with Down syndrome are aborted. Have we gone too far? And sometimes they use chalk hearts to represent the hearts of unborn babies they say are stopped each day through abortion. It's a pretty innocuous, tame way to get their point across considering what can and does go on on university campuses all across the country, like slut walks and the like. Now you can agree, like I do, with their message or disagree, it's a free country. But they certainly aren't hurting anybody or limiting anyone else's human rights by spreading their message. There's no nudity, no vulgarity, no swears, no anti-Israel baloney, no overt sexual displays, just uncomfortable facts. And if the facts make you uncomfortable, you probably need to ask yourself why. And they've actually been the target of vandalism and bullying themselves in 2014. 30 of their posters were taken down across the campus. But because Students for Life made the snowflakes uncomfortable on campus, they have been denied official campus group status this year. And this decision comes just a few days after being originally approved again for campus group status the way they have been again for at least 10 years. This is the email the Students Federation sent Students for Life terminating their status. This email is to inform you of your club's removal from the SFUO club system. This decision was made due to the ways in which your mandate is in contention with the SFUO's principles. The Student Federation is explicitly pro-choice, fine, but let's be clear, their principles do not include free thought, free speech, free association. Their principles are imposing the pro-choice mandate on every single student against their will and calling it diversity and women's rights. And how is this group in line with the Students Federation principles for the last 10 years, but all of a sudden now they just aren't? Terminating official status can be devastating for a campus group. Being denied campus status means the pro-life club will no longer have access to 15 free room bookings per semester for club activities, free multimedia bookings on the weekends, and they won't be listed in the Student Federation Club's website the way every other student club is. But it's more than that. Every single student at the University of Ottawa pays mandatory Student Federation dues. These dues, in part, go to support student clubs, which means these pro-life students are forced to support clubs they are fundamentally opposed to, but cannot start a club to reflect their own values and balance the constant progressive messaging at their school. It's censorship, plain and simple. So Students for Life have appealed and they've hired the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms to take on their case. Now the Justice Center sent a letter to the school saying, the decision discriminates against Students for Life based on its pro-life opinions and beliefs. This decision violates the principles of natural justice, student federations own constitution and policies, and the fundamental Canadian values of freedom of expression and association, which are crucially important at academic institutions. Now, the Justice Centre asked that the group be reinstated by November 3rd. But that's not the end of this. Instead of heeding the Justice Center's advice, the Student Federation is doubling down. A meeting was held this past weekend by the Students' Federation to bolster the university's commitment to its pro-choice, anti-freedom stance, and a whole host of other wacky things, like a motion to affirm that people are harmed by capitalism and another to divest from fossil fuels. Now, thankfully, the motion to support the BDS sanction movement against Israel didn't pass. The Student Federation 
passed a motion that affirms a person's right to choose. No student federation resources, space, recognition, or funding will be allocated to enhance groups or individuals with the primary or sole purpose of pro-life activities. So they'll take the kids' pro-life money in the form of dues, but they don't want to hear what the pro-life kids have to say or, for that matter, even let them say it. University is like an alternative universe where self-awareness just doesn't exist. Students for Life called the motion exactly what it is, a deliberate attempt to censor discussion they find distasteful. They accused the motion of limiting their ability to fight for legal club status in the future. Pro-life students who showed up at the Sunday meeting were allowed to plead their case for the right to free expression at their university until they were cut off. I mean, I can't even believe I said that sentence in Canada, allowed to plead their case for free speech. Anyway, just watch some of the exchanges between the pro-life students and their censorious crybaby peers who think they have a right not to be offended. Here. By this motion, apparently shutting down debate on that area, and the only reason why you would shut down debate in the area, from what I can see, is if you're worried that the other side might actually have a point, and you are worried that it will impeach you. So, why are they trying to shut down Sorry, um, there is a point of order, just one second. So, speaking specifically about pro-life groups that want to advocate for that position, the only reason I can see that the SFU would try to shut that down is if you're worried that pro-life pro groups would have a point by denying Students for Life official club status, the University of Ottawa Student Federation is going against the mandate of the clubs themselves. This is directly from the Student Federation website with regard to student clubs. The Student Federation clubs play a vital role in student life on campus. They reflect the great diversity of our student population at the University of Ottawa and serve as a centerpiece that brings together a multitude of students with similar interests, backgrounds, and ambitions. Yeah, they keep saying diversity, but it doesn't doesn't mean what they think it means. The student clubs are supposed to exi exist to promote diversity, but like most other leftists, when the student federation says diversity, they mean in color, sexual behavior, and choice of birth control, but not thought. Never diversity of thought. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Did you know I have a weekly show here on The Rebel where I focus on issues facing Alberta? To get access to my show and the rest of our amazing premium content, become a subscriber today.